so today I'm doing another review that I said I was gonna do forever ago. It is the mirror, as in the actual workout mirror that works with an app on your phone. So I wanna show you how small it is and the space you need and the different programs. So this is it, as you can tell, it doesn't take up a lot of space. And it just looks like a regular mirror when you're not using it. So what you do is a little switch here. So you turn it on, it takes a little while to pop up. And this is a camera, by the way. So if you, see there's a camera right there. And if you don't want anyone to be able to see you, <laughs> I always leave my camera on. Some people like to take pictures after or whatever. If you're working one-on-one -on -one with a trainer, you'll obviously want to move your camera because they can correct you and see what you're doing. If you're doing a group class and you don't want that, you just leave your camera on. So it's going to connect to the internet. As you can see, connecting, please wait. And then once it pulls up, usually it's a lot quicker than this. So as you can see, the screen is up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my phone and there's a mirror app. So I'm gonna show you how the app works. Okay, so after a workout, like it'll tell you, boom, you did it, workout complete. So I just did a stretch this morning and then it tells you your time, the calorie burns, which honestly are not that accurate. I prefer going with my Apple Watch, it's preference. Um, and then it shows you how many times you've um, used your mirror. Don't judge me, this week has not been a very good week. <laughs> but um, school just started, so next week I'll be, I'll be on it like all the time. Um, and I also have workers in the house, but anyway, so it's been a little chaotic. But usually it gives you checks on how often you use it, which I think is really motivating. Like seeing this really annoys me. So next week I want them all filled up. So I think that's a really good tool. So anyways, um, it's got your name and all that. It tells you how good you did. And then you get on this app. So this tells you like some of the classes. There's live classes if you want to join a live class. Um, or you can just go to classes and see there's a really you can do competitive which I've never tried toning yoga family fun boxing meditation dance stretch bar kickboxing chair tai chi pre postnatal pilates cardio strength so much and you can actually filter it if you're trying to um so you can go to your classes right find a class programs these are the popular classes this week, low impact, whatever. It shows you a bunch and they're all, you do have to join an app. It's a monthly fee. So then you can go to find a workout and you can do it by type, difficulty, length, and structure, and even equipment. So see, it tells you no equipment, chair, dumbbells, bands, resistant bands. You have workouts that are anywhere from 15, 30 to 45. Um, and then the difficulty has beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert. And then it's lower body, total body, or upper body. So let's say I'm gonna do total body. I'll do intermediate. I'll do a 30 minute workout. And I'll do no equipment, just to show you kind of. So like right now, let's just do this one, which is a total body sculpt, right? So I'm gonna show you. So then when you start, see? It gets on there and you can hit start workout and it starts on there and you see yourself in the mirror perform. So you don't need a lot of room really to do it. Like you step out, so you don't need a whole lot of room to do this workout, which is what I like. Okay, so you know, there's all different workouts. So now I'm going to show you another workout. Let that on. You're going to need some arm circles for it. You go down for two, and up for two. Down, and up. With a little bit of a bend. 
focus on the height of your leg. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you're activating and engaging the core. Woo! Good. Now think about the core. Glutes. Pull the heel in towards the glute. You're going to lower down. Knees in line. And then press up to the ceiling. It does. Oh, you can probably feel it. It makes Ooh. isolation even better. The burn even greater on this last one. As your head reaches forward, shoulders relax. Abs and tight. So then see here, you can see the names of the people taking the classes and where they're from. All right, and so um, this again is your calorie count. I usually have my Apple Watch on. I think it's more accurate than going through their app. I feel like theirs is a little higher than what it actually is, just an FYI. So don't cheat yourself using theirs, just my two cents. All right, so I'm doing kickboxing today. Yeah, I'm really not that coordinated. I would never do a kickboxing class in person. So I love that I can do it in the mirror and nobody will see me except all of y'all. But anyways, ready? Let's go. Okay, so I'm supposed to go jab. <laughs> Oh, a cross. I always forget the cross and then the hook. Yeah, see, I would never do this in class. I would be so embarrassed, but I don't care. I can do this here. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so you kind of get an idea of the different workouts that you can do with the mirror. All right, so the basics, and of course the important stuff, how much does it cost? So the mirror itself is 1,495 US dollars, or you can have installments of 49, no, $42 a month. I had to do the math real quick. Um, there is a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can try it at your house and if you don't like it, you can return it. So if you're not sure about it, I definitely wouldn't suggest a wall mounting it like how I have it. You can put it on a stand. We'll take a little bit more room on a stand though, but I guess you can always wall mount it after if you decide to keep it. There is an app that goes with it and the app costs $39 a month and you have to commit to it for one year. So, you know, you just have to think about that. But I personally think if you're like, don't have a lot of space in your house, you wanna work out, you don't wanna to go to a gym, it's perfect, it's ideal. There's so, like I showed you, there's so many different workouts. And I personally love my mirror. I get bored easily, so I have my mirror, you know, I have my treadmill, I have my DV method, I just got a barbell today. I'm so excited, you guys. I've been looking for a barbell since the pandemic started. I finally got it today, um, and it goes up to 60 pounds, which for me is perfect. I cannot wait. Deadlifts all day starting tomorrow. Woo! Anyways, back to the mirror, which actually, this actually does kind of play because you can use weights with your mirror. So, you know, it's cool. You can use hand weights, you can use kettlebells, um, foam rollers, all that good stuff. So yeah, um, let me know if you think you're going to look into the mirror after my video or if you have one yourself and you like it. And hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another one of my reviews and I'll see you later. Bye.